and he steps forward. Or I'll step forward. You do the flying mirror. Okay? And then he stuffs it like that with a forward step. But he still got his head down. So I didn't pull him back, but I stuffed it with stepping forward. So the hips go, his hips got to pop, pop up a little to finish his throw. Now try to put that together in one, in one movement. Over under hook. So the hips rock you. There we go, so right there. So now you gotta start turning the corner, go. So I'll do it on you. Okay, I go here and he's still on. So I'm gonna start turning the corner, turning the corner. I try not to land in guard. I got a half guard, I got a half guard. I got a half guard. Whatever. All right, so that one is not Billy Robinson. That's my old high school wrestling coach. I actually asked Billy Robinson about that one. Hey Billy, if the guy steps forward, can I do this? And you rocket my hips up, or rocket and hop? And Billy said, well if you do it right, you don't need to do that. So <laughs> that's it, so that's, that's that counter. It's not from Billy, it's just so it's clear. But um, he said it was okay, I guess, but he said you shouldn't need to do it. The guy pulls back. Like he reads the throw and he pulls back. So Justin goes for the throw, okay? And he's, he still gets his foot there, but see I'm pulling back and he doesn't get his head to the mat. Like it's not down, go bring me down. It's not gonna happen, okay? So what I do in that one is I just work to stand up because he's not holding, he's not, if I'm not, head's not on the ground, he's pulling, holding up for me. It's an easy stand up. I'll stand up on you. So here. I'll come right back up. You gotta pull back harder though. Don't, I could have put my head to the ground. I got you. See, I need you to really, I knew, I could feel him. I knew he was past the balance point and I knew that if I just planted my head and rocked into the hips, he was gonna not stay there. So you gotta pull back. There we go. I'm back up. A lot of times it's like as sloppy as that. I have pulled this off. It was against the heavier guy. Going right here, don't pull back that hard. Right here, just don't let me pull you forward. I did this one. Okay. Because it's like, it's all, it's, you have to read the pressure of the position. It's like if I go here, uh, you're the fine on me. I'm like that, okay? I'm giving him that much pull. Go stand up. Fine. Okay. But you got you need to get right back to your feet. I felt like you could have finished that one. Finish it. Now you can't go. But I pulled back so hard I ended up behind him. Okay, this I did on a wrestler, wrestling based guy. He wasn't a submission based guy, but he's a lot heavier than me. We're in this tie up. I went Justin's me. I went for the throw, go. He just, and it came down there. As soon as I hit the mat and fell and hit my back, I just um, grabbed the wrist, stand up. Okay, so the one where anyone, where I go here and he's able to counter with the pullback and then I stand back up that way, or I'm able to stand back up this way, um, or do Billy's basic stand up. Billy never like told me specifically to do that. A dot just came up like live rolling um, or live wrestling, just wrestling with people and getting stuck in a situation. That's just what I've been doing to problem solve that. Okay, this next one, um, there's two more you gotta worry about uh, that I've come across. One is the guy jumps on your back like a cat. So it doesn't matter, go with this one. Go for the flying hair, I'm gonna pull you back, go. Boom, stand up. I'm gonna jump on you, bang. And the guy's in, the guy hops on you right away. Okay? So here, go for the throw. Bang. That one, um, I don't have a catch wrestling answer for it. I do my I do the jujitsu escape for that one. So no gi, I usually do this. I want you to jump on my back, okay? Here. I usually come here, go forward, start shaking. 
clear the hook, come back, sorry, get a hold of his head, come around. And it's, it's, that's a fundamental jiu-jitsu escape I learned, you know, 15 years ago, whatever. All right, so this one, you throw me flying mirror off here. I was wrestling this guy, he had really good hips, okay? And he caught me with this. Go. As soon as the air cut, boom! And he swung his hips out, and he was right here in the choke, okay? That bully, the bully choke. And he, and he was up on his, he was up off his hip, he was putting all the pressure on my head. But he actually did this, this didn't play out like that. Went like this, grab my head. Yeah, I did a half ass throw, that was my first mistake. As I was tired, it was, we'd been rolling for a while, been rolling with a lot of people that day for a long time. And, uh, and I did a half ass throw, here. Boom, go around, go around, go around. Here. Now freeze. See I had this hand in here? So I was actually fighting him here for a while, and I went for this. Let me succeed. I was trying to push here, and go here, and push him over this way, okay? But he based, and I had no success. And then he switched his lock. So go here. No, 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 let me get my lock in, it was in. It was in like this. So see, my hand's in pretty deep here. Like, it's, it's all the way, it was all the way like that. Okay, so I'm going like this and I'm pushing in, and then he switched the lock. <coughs> See, he switched. <coughs> he switched onto the bicep. <coughs> he couldn't do anything anymore, even with the arm in. So I tapped out. <coughs> but here's what I do now. And you probably learned this before, but no one taught it to me, so I just do it. Problem solve it. So here, boom, go inside. I'll do that one now. <coughs> Let me do it again, that one suck. Here, here. So I went here, this way. Okay, so that's everything I've come up with. And as far as um, what Billy's exact was, um, when I asked Billy about that throw, it was just like every time he's like, you did the throw wrong. And then um, I asked him about that jetting the hips up. And his response was, um, sure, you could do that, but you wouldn't have to if you would have done it right. Okay, that's it.